Let's take a look at Windows 10's brand new Mail application. Mail is a really beautiful and functional application. It makes it really easy to manage your email. You can manage multiple accounts. So you'll see here if you click on the name of one account, the other accounts will automatically show up underneath that. Creating a new message is as easy as clicking this plus new mail button here. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. First I want to show you that you can collapse this menu. It may automatically be collapsed depending on what size you have the mail application open to. There is a search functionality, a refresh button, and then this button which allows you to select multiple messages all at once. So as you can see here, if I go ahead and select these three messages, if I click the ellipsis here, I'll have multiple different options. I can set a flag, clear flags, mark as red or mark as unread. So I want to mark these messages as red. So that's how that works. If I then exit the selection mode, it automatically deselects those different messages. When you do go ahead and select a message, there are a couple of other things that you can do. You have archive, delete, and then move. This will allow you to move it to a different folder. If you're someone who has a lot of messages in their inbox, both read and unread, and you want to see just the messages that you haven't read, you can go ahead and switch that to the unread. Or if you use flags frequently for important messages, then you can go straight to showing only the messages that are flagged. This background picture here, which displays when there isn't a mail message open, is uh, actually something that you can change yourself. So if you go over here to the settings area, you can change the background picture. So you can make that whatever you'd like, something maybe that you'd like to see frequently. And you can also manage your accounts from there. Then there are some reading options. So you can have it automatically open the next item. So that means after you delete a message or uh, you know you finish reading it and then you archive it, it'll automatically open the next message. Then you have the option to automatically mark an item as read when you select it. So that would maybe mean if this message was unread and I just clicked on it, that would automatically switch it to being unread. So that's a kind of an, a nice feature to have maybe if you'd like to go ahead and browse through your email really quickly, see if there's anything important that you need to see. But if you don't want it to be marked as read automatically so that you don't forget to take a look at it later, then you can say don't automatically mark item as read. Or you can have it automatically mark the item as read after you have been on that message for some time. Maybe if you've been there for 30 seconds, it should mark it as read, but anything under that, maybe you were just taking a quick look at it. Now you can have, uh, what it's talking about here are the quick actions. So quick actions are what happens when you, I'll just, let me show you this here. So when you hover over with a mouse, you have archive, delete, and set flag. So these are the quick actions. And if you're using your finger, if you're using a tablet, when you swipe it to the left here, right now it's set to archive, and then swipe this way and it's set to set flag. So those are also quick actions. So if you would like, you can actually change it so that maybe you don't want to archive those items, maybe you want to delete them entirely. So you can go ahead and set that so that that automatically deletes an item. And then you can set a custom signature. One thing that it, I do find is missing here is the ability to do HTML5. So this is just pure text here, no uh, rich text in that. Another thing that you might want to know is that when you receive an email, you will get a notification in the action center, but by default you will not get a notification banner like a toast or pop-up notification and it won't play a sound. So if you'd like to be notified when new email comes in, you may want to turn both of those things on. And then within mail, you can automatically jump to the calendar application. So this actually is not uh, a piece of the Outlook mail application. It goes right into the, it actually opens the calendar application. So that's it for the mail app. Thanks for watching.